Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. TJHD here back with another awesome video. Lots of awesome things are going on. Today is a really important day. I get to do a review video of this awesome piece of technology. There is a reason that I'm actually dressed up in traditional way. Because this is all tradition correlating. Let's get started. This is Mercedes-Benz class of E350 Coupe. One might say Coupe, but that's not the best part about it. It's actually convertible. The design itself looks amazing and it's eye-catching at the very first glance. I mean, look at this. How would you not want to look back at this car the first time you saw it? It's just amazingly designed. It only gets better from here. Apart from having four seats in this Coupe, they still have been able to manage to have enough space in the cargo section as well. The monster living under the hood of this car is V6 engine that unleashes around 300 horsepower and makes the car go from 0 to 60 in 6.3 seconds which basically lets you have the feeling of having a sports car along with the luxurious car that it's actually meant for. The steering wheel is covered in genuine leather. It does have all kinds of buttons to control the technology in the car. You can also see the emblem of Mercedes-Benz in the middle. To the right, this is the main section of having the technology. You do see the screen there, I believe it runs Android on it. You can control desk, radio, telephone, navigation, all kinds of different things on here. You can have the car into sports model or more of economical system as well. You have AC or heating system. If you look down, you have the automatic and manual controls, where if you want to have the car into manual, you can control the shifts going up or going down in terms of gears with these awesome looking controls. You have this knob in the middle here to control the airflow from the back so it doesn't bother you when you're driving with converted. And this is these are all the buttons to make the car uh, top go back or down, come back up. These are all the mi mirrors and these are the airflows. And this is where you keep your storage stuff. If you look up, you do have just the regular controls about the lights and stuff on top. You can also have some information show up on the back mirror as well. They have done a great job making this car secure. You can actually push the door with one finger and it will close automatically without you having to push it afterwards. You do see the animation of car getting locked on the side mirrors as well as up at the front lights as well. It's actually really hard for me to find the words to describe how awesome the interior design and the color combination is. Hats off to their engineers who come up with these amazing ideas and make the car look awesome. The next question you must be wondering about is the fact that how does the person sit in the bad seat? To answer that, there's actually this button on the side of the seat. You pull on it and you kind of push the seat at the front, just with a slight force it'll go to the front automatically leaving the space for a person and once the person is seated you pull on that button again kind of push the seat backwards it will adjust to the space automatically how cool is that another cool feature is once you're ready to start the car the steering wheel comes down to where you had it before and once you are done it actually goes back up leaving enough space for you to leave without having any troubles I think it's about time we get this baby started and bring everything back to life. I'm having this feeling of just taking this car to the fullest potential but unfortunately I won't be able to. So let's do something that I would do if I would buy this car the very first time because that's how you test it. Speed bumps! In all seriousness though, let's see how cool does it look to have this car converted and how much of an attention we might be able to get if we do it in public. This one's for all those attention seekers out there.
since it's a proven luxury and sports car along with having all those safety issues taken care of let's see if it qualifies for being a family car as well by installing a car seat for kids You guys want to check out something awesome? All right, check. All right, goes back. If you open the door, it comes right back out. So it's easily approachable. Awesome. You know what? I think it's about time I rev this car a bit. Let's do it. All right, we are moving because we are neutral. That's V6. I won't be able to drive it that fast, but I'll try my best. All right, let's go. I hope everything goes well. It will be just a quick, quick little fast drive that I will do from here to all the way down there. I'm sorry, I won't be able to do it that much, but let's see how it goes. I'm excited for this. Let's go. Whoa, this thing is awesome, I'm telling you. All right, okay, now it's time to stop. All right, I'm gonna have to say that there was a time in this quick little drive that I felt like I won't be able to control the car. Um, yeah it's great but you're gonna have to have like a specific course line to drive this car just saying let me say a couple of things here guys I really thank all of you guys who have subscribed so far if you're a new person please hit that subscribe button make sure that you do that's how I keep making these awesome things I hope you guys enjoy this video please hit that like button while I am being an attention seeker at the moment thank you very much again See you guys in the next one.